Thanks, Graham XL. Hi, you guys. Happy Tuesday. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin, for those of you that are new here, and if you're not, welcome back. Today, I wanted to share with you a smoothie bowl that I made last week. It was so good. Without exaggeration, it tasted like cake batter, and it was this really, really pretty, like, light Tiffany blue. The game changer in the smoothie bowl was the protein powder, and oh my god. Oh my gosh. So, so good. So I'm super excited to share this with you. And I don't think it should actually be a cook with me because everything is raw. We're not really cooking, we're just blending. So if you wanna blend with me, then just keep watching. Lacey loves a good smoothie bowl, right? Right? So yeah, let's just, um... Yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's where we're at today, making a smoothie bowl. If you wanna do that, then just keep watching. So starting with my fabulous blender, super simple ingredients right off the bat. I mean, just like a whole bag of bananas. So that's one, two whole frozen bananas. And I have this lovely little cup of ice to assist me. It's like 16 ounces. And then I'll just be blending that up right now. Now I have a little something like that. It literally looks like, um, hi snow <laughs> go with the bananas and the ice first just because i like that it gets this very like flaky light consistency that way it doesn't get super i don't want it to be too runny so by doing this first i find that it stays thicker before all of this melts let's get the rest of the ingredients one two ooh. i'm gonna go in with three dates these still have their pits in them so i'm gonna take the little pits the little pitties out. That's a huge date. What a huge date. <laughs> so great for the sweetness. I tread very lightly with the liquid. I'm just using the soy milk from Trader Joe's. I'm gonna do like one dash, two dashes, three dashes. For those of you that measure, that was probably like, I would say two to three tablespoons. Ugh, don't forget this. The peanut butter. This makes it lovely and creamy. So that was a generous spoonful. Slide that off. Okay, and then just, you should just enjoy the rest really for self-care. I'm going in with three powders for this recipe. First, it's this bentonite clay. This, you guys, makes it so creamy. And I know it looks super sketch because it's like this gray, what is that? But bentonite clay, make sure that it's food grade and that it's not stuff that you're supposed to be using topically for your skin, that you can actually ingest it. But I get this on Amazon. And health benefit here, it's great for detox. Great for ridding the body of what you no longer want. So I'm gonna grab a clean spoon. Take a generous spoonful of that. Right in. Then to get that really pretty color that I was talking about, I'm going to use spirulina, which is an algae. Spirulina is the highest food per gram of protein in the plant-based world. If I said that wrong, hopefully you know what I was trying to say. This stuff doesn't bother my stomach. Like I don't mind the taste at all, so I go in with a pretty generous, again, spoonful. Last but certainly not least, hang on to your hats. Oh, oh, oh. This one, so this flavor, salted caramel by Vega. It's the one. I'm not even kidding. It's just the one. It's that good. It's so good. Like when I said it tastes like cake batter, I know that that's because of the peanut butter and the dates, but with this, this flavor, just, just thank me later. One serving size, so a spoon. Scoop, not a spoon. And that's the last of our powders. More than likely, I will have to add in more of our milk just to get it to blend in fully. But really, like, that's the recipe. Let me blend it up. It will be a patience game because this is where we're at right now. We're just not in a good place, is the truth of the matter. But with patience and a spatula, we'll get there. Scrape the bottom, scrape the sides. Words, you know what I meant because you saw what I was doing. We're gonna get that all in there. You can get in my belly now, that's fine. So we're gonna push all that down, scrape that, and just, oh, gosh. And then we're gonna go again with like a one, two, three steps, okay? Three more little, whatever, <laughs> the sound effects. Put the top back on, line up your arrows, close up shop, and we're gonna blend it again. And I'm just being transparent, okay? So this is round two. It doesn't, from this view, it doesn't look much better. You see at the bottom, this is the color that we're going for. That's the goal, to have that all around. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Like there's this whole date in here, this hasn't even gotten there. 
We're just really establishing community, bringing everybody together, which is nice. Like that's the union I wanna be a part of. One, two, three step with the soy milk drizzle. I mean, the flavors are there, okay? You can't take it out, but you can not add in. Oh. My grandma's like, I have such a hard time. I'm like, why? It's so easy. Shit's not always easy, okay? If that's not the bigger picture of life. Full disclosure back here. But that was a full two minutes. But the last round you saw that it finally developed and finally came together to that really pretty turquoisey kind of Tiffany blue. So now let's plate it and do the toppings, my favorite part. Outside of like obviously outside of eating it but i love i love me a good topping i mean pretty good like just ignore the sides here we go because i'm not trying to be wasteful scrape this down and this is like a great consistency precisely where i wanted to be if you know what i'm saying place that off to the side now grab the blender here we go it's like kind of soft serving but I'm telling you, the banana on the ice first on its own, that's the game changer. Go outside of the protein powder. Look at that. All right, folks, smooth operator. Ooh, mm. I'm not even kidding. Like, it's like cake batter to me. That's nice. Okay, so let's get this topping show on the road. From Pantry Staples, I'm gonna go with some walnuts cacao nibs for sure and then um coconut chips these are just unsweetened dried coconut pieces fresh because it's what i have in the fridge i have some strawberries and some blackberries because this is the kind of trip that i'm on today why stop when you can go a little hemp seeds little chia seeds but this is to your own discretion this is just what i'm using because well it's what i like do the seeds first hemp seeds i'll do a little bit over here chia seeds we'll hit on the other side and this is where it gets to be artsy and fun, so enjoy. Cacao nibs, because it's darker. I'm gonna go over on this side. Walnuts. Just do like a little palmful. Let's try to break it up, smaller pieces. I mean, use the hands, use the tools that we were given. Relatively small, back over on the other side. Artsy, not perfect. Oh, I've salvaged four. The rest are trash. This one time, not even kidding, in a pack of blackberries, so maybe there's just like a weird omen that I have. I found this massive, like I even get the shivers just thinking about this massive dead spider. And it was a fresh pack of blue, 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 blue blackberries. And I couldn't even eat it. Like the spider was fully dead, but I just like could not, I couldn't stand the thought of eating the blackberries. So I had to throw them all away. So we're gonna salvage those four. That was a little baby dead bug. <laughs> Some of them were rotting and old, but to not be wasteful, we'll give those a little rinse. We'll do half. Uh -huh. Four strawberries. Just gonna top them, no tail. And just little bite-sized pieces. Oh, if you make this, seriously, I'm so excited if you try this. Little straw babies. Coconut chips. Spirulina smoothie bowl. Hi, that looks so fire. Am I right or am I right? Who knew centers of blueberries look like that? I didn't, so I learned that today. And smoothie bowl is done. Looks delicious. My dishes are done and I'm super ready to smash. So let me just do like one little taste tester. Even though I kind of already got the blender, but you know, you know. Mm. Like, it's just, it's like cake battery and sweet. This is the game changer right here. I'm not even kidding. And since I'm hyping this up so much, ingredients of this Vega protein, pea protein, pea starch, natural flavors, spinach powder, brown rice protein, organic kale powder, sea salt, stevia leaf extract, xanthan gum, which is a thickener that I've learned in my last videos, papain powder, sacha inchi protein, alfalfa grass powder, broccoli powder, and that's the ingredient list. Like, I fully don't know how they get it to taste this good. Where does the salted caramel deliciousness come from? I'm a big fan, I'm an even bigger fan, and just this color, it's so nice. Texture is perfect it's not runny like a smoothie blending up the bananas and the ice together first just be patient don't overdo it with the liquid and you'll be good to go it'll be bold as brass 
and you'll be enjoying a smoothie bowl in no time. So if you enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I upload videos every Thursday. Bake with me, cook with me. I have a video planned for the future, a meditate with me, where I'll guide you through a meditation, which I'm really, really excited to share that with you. I just have to figure out some audio details. And that's all that I have for you today. So have a wonderful day. Be kind to yourself and be kind to others. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye. I just did that whole thing after taking a bite. And did I have something in my teeth? I didn't. So, I'm in the clear. You look so pretty in this lighting. Her little eye, her little ear. Whoop. What? Or a, uh, what is this called? Oh. Mold. Mold. I mean, would you guys judge me if I use, like, this one good one? These two good ones? Fully, that's like a dead bug. I'm not even kidding. That was a dead bug. I might edit that out, but... <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. That's kind of not so great. Hi you guys, welcome. That's so like, I don't know what to do with my hands.